If you would like to get a head start on entering your budgets for the next fiscal year, the NYP options in Approp can be used before closing out the current fiscal year. After entering your next year proposed amounts, they will appear in the next fiscal year proposed field on the budget and revenue accounts. Then when adjust is run for fiscal year end, the next fiscal year proposed amounts are moved into the initial budget or the initial revenue fields. The NYP load option allows you to load next year proposed amounts from a spreadsheet. First, the spreadsheet needs to be created. You may create one from scratch using the NYP load import file specifications from the Approp chapter in the reference manual. However, an easier and recommended option would be to run BudWork or RevWorks using the CSV option in the report program. The CSV spreadsheet files generated are compatible with the NYP load program. The first row of the spreadsheet automatically includes the required column descriptions. This can save lots of time by letting BudWork or RevWork create the spreadsheet for you. Once the next year proposed amounts are entered into the spreadsheet, the CSV file can then be loaded into the NYP load program. So, I'm going to go ahead and let BudWork do the work for me. So I'm going to exit out of the Approp program and run a BudWork. And so the first thing you want to make note of is the output spreadsheet file field. This needs to be filled in with a name as well as the type of CSV. And then I go ahead and fill in the rest of the information and I am selecting just general fund elementary budget accounts. Um, I am excluding the 100 and 200 objects at this time. So I have my wildcards entered in here. I'm going to go ahead and execute the report. And then what it's going to give me is my BudWork text file, my elbudgets.csv file. This is a file I'm going to transfer over and pull into Excel. And then also one other thing to make note is the next year proposed grand total. It should be zero at this time because I haven't loaded any next year proposed amounts in. So at this point then I would take that elbudgets.csv file and I would file transfer it over and pull it into Excel. And when I do that, this is basically what I'm going to see. I'm going to see the account code and then some other miscellaneous information, the description, the expended amounts. But the file that I want to pay attention to, or I'm sorry, the column I want to pay attention to is the proposed column. When I first pulled this in to Excel, obviously these amounts would be empty. Since then, I have entered in all of my proposed amounts. So if I want to go ahead and double check and see what the total amount is, um, first off, I note that I've got 31 records here. Well, I have to take into account the header record. So if I take that off of there, I actually have 30 records that need to be processed. And the total amount, if I auto sum this, is $200,723.93. Now I'm going to remember that amount because I may need to reference that later. So I have like I said, 30 records and my total next year proposed amount. So I go ahead and I save this and I saved it under the name nypload.lm.csv. I want to save it as a CSV file. So once I save this file, file transfer it back, I pull it up then through my emulator using the Approp program. And I go into the NYP load option. And the first thing it's asking me for is the import file name. So I enter in the name that I gave it, NYP load lm.csv. My format is CSV. And then it's asking, do you want to update the account information now or do you want to run a report first? Let's run a report first. So when I execute this, it tells me that it has 30 valid accounts. And so I go ahead and I take a look at the actual report. And the first thing I notice is that it says projection report only, no accounts modified. Because I know I just did the report option. And it says down here 30 records, which is how many lines I had on my spreadsheet. The one thing you want to make note of is that it also gives you some warnings. 
um, or about the other columns in the spreadsheet stating that these are not valid budget fields. That's correct for NYP load. They aren't valid because NYP load is only looking at their proposed column, is only going to pull the information from the proposed column on the spreadsheet. It will ignore the rest of these columns. So at this point, everything looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and run it again, back into a probe. And this time I'm changing it to an update status. And it tells me again, 30 records processed. So I'm going to take a look at the file name again. And again, this time it's telling me report of changes made to the account file. So I know I did the actual update. And now it's going to display every account that was successfully modified. The only thing it doesn't give is the, um, the amounts that were loaded in. It tells me it's 30 records, which matches the amount of records on my spreadsheet. But in order to verify that those amounts did get loaded in, I'm going to run a bud work. Again, I'm using the same options that I had before. And I'll go ahead and execute this. This time I'm not so concerned about the CSV file, but I am concerned about this next year proposed total, $200,723.93. That matches to the penny of the spreadsheet when I summed up the totals of the proposed column. So if I wanted to go in and just take a look at each of these accounts just to verify, I can do that. I'm just going to look at the budwork.txt file. I don't have to worry about the spreadsheet. And again, I'm looking at the right hand column there, next year proposed. And these are all my next year proposed amounts. And then if I page down to the bottom, then I get my total amount right here, $200,723.93. One other option that you could do is if you want to create these spreadsheets and email them to the people in charge of, their, of the accounts, you can do that. You would just generate a bunch of Budwork CSV files email them to the person in charge of those accounts, they can open up that spreadsheet in Excel, enter in the next year proposed amounts, email them back to you, and then you can load them through up through the NYP load program.